All right, we're coming into the main yard. Near where we were storing the cut grass. And what we've done is put another placeable heap here for all the excess chaff. And hopefully, these tipper trailers are going to unload on the left side. And they do. You can kind of tell they're on the bottom part of the trailers they have what looks like the gate release mechanism down on the right uh, it does not have those panels on it so I thought it was a pretty safe bet that we tipped on the left side well at least we'll have plenty of uh, material to silage with get the close-up view of the last trailer okay we'll finish that up come back all right, last uh, load with the grain train. And we've got about a trailer and a half out of there. We're going to try, since these trailers are side tippers, to hit that trigger point on the storage there. Now that we got the AgriLiner trailer out of the way, we can give this a try. I believe the trigger point for unloading might be a few feet past the end of the shelter there. And it is. But let us unload whether it uh, puts it in that shed or not. It's a different question, I guess. Alright, we got the last of the chaff in there. We've got Greg in the Big Bud 747 towing the Bednar Atlas 15 meter cultivator. Just kind of saying howdy. We're in the Case Magnum. We're going to put in some grass on the edge of this field fix the little problem we had when we were harvesting hopefully but I thought we might get a little bit of chase footage here of Greg doing the cultivating seems to be a pretty good rig He's getting it done pretty fast and uh, not having any problems with the uh, hilly parts either. But we won't bother him too much. We'll go over here and do the job we came to do. Alright, we're going up into the corner. Here, and if you remember from couple of videos back I had to actually go outside the fence to unload the harvester into the chaser wagon on this first row same thing happened the other side of the field we're gonna put a good gr little grass strip here hopefully we'll avoid doing that the next time came a little bit of a problem. 
especially if you were in a field where uh, you had uh, neighbors on the other side, they may not let you go in their field to unload your combine. You have to jockey it around to get it unloaded. I thought this might be a problem, but I wasn't sure. Uh, well, now we are, so we're going to come back and put this grass. In light of the amount of wheat we got out of uh, field 17 here, I'm, I'm not sure we're going to lose a whole lot of crops by putting this strip of grass in. I mean, Greg's already passed us over there. Big Bud is doing a pretty good job of towing that big cultivator. See if he falls asleep there on the end or he makes the turn. Well, all right. Must have fed him enough coffee this morning. Okay, close to the end. Let's turn around and see how she looks. Yeah, pretty good. Now that we don't have to tow this cedar around, we can get some speed up and uh, Say adios to Greg before we go back to the shop. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Alright, we're here by Greg's house, which is behind us. At least you can see the barn. And we're going to use some of this silage money to buy field 18 and 19, which are the two unusually shaped terraced fields on the map. So we'll do this. And then looks like we got corn harvest to do right off the bat here. Let's see what 19 is going to cost us. These fields seem a little bit expensive. Yeah. All right. Guess we'll go borrow some coffee from Greg and get back to work. Down at the main farm, and you can see that our silage bunker is completely empty. So we're going to do a little bit of work here in the afternoon. And go to fill in. silage bunker with some of this chaff we just collected out of the wheat field. 
All right. So we've got our conveyor belt set up. Let's just go get something with the trailer to fill up. Okay, besides being a forge wagon, our silo space is actually a pretty good general use trailer. If I can get it lined up here, we're going to take one trailer load out of this storage point and then go over to our placeable heap and take the rest of this bunker load out of that. get a quick view of it filling from this direction a little bit interesting looking from our storage area into the back of the silo space trailer pretty nice animation there on the conveyor belt Right, full up of chaff. And we'll go into the bunker and dump. Okay, we're at the placeable heap where we put all that straw chaff before. Getting the silo space loaded for a second trailer here. Loading up nicely. Okay, back at the silage bunker. We are throwing the second load in. It's about time to do a little bit of uh, compacting too. Okay, we haven't used this too much since we've been using the conveyor belts quite a bit. But this JCB loader with the wide tires is just about the right thing for us to compact our silage bunker. Which is probably going to take a little bit of doing. I'll show you all a little bit and then do the rest off screen. Come back when we're ready to put the cover on. Just a lot of back and forth. Okay, we've got 100% in the silage bunker. It's all nice and compacted. We'll go ahead and cover it off and let it start cooking. All right, in field 17, we have spread slurry. We have cultivated. And now we're getting to the point where we're planting our barley crop. I've got our horse cedar, the new one we bought, and our 620 Steiger. I'm going to do a row or two here, and then we'll turn it over to Cowboy Andy. And then we'll probably either prepare or actually start in on the big corn harvest in the two new fields we bought. We'll see how it goes. We may not have enough time in this video to actually start harvesting. 
but this seems to be pulling the horse cedar pretty nicely. I'm not getting a lot of lag when I'm going uphill. It's not slowing it down at all. So yeah, pretty good uh, mod the 620 Steiger. I am liking the horse cedar a little bit better than large standard game cedars. They seem to be a little unwieldy to my thinking. But yeah, we'll finish up this row and uh, get Cowboy Andy working on this. Alright, now that we got Cowboy Andy in the cab, we can show maybe some different views of this setup. It's a little bit hard for me to drive and change the camera angle give you all a, a different view of what I'm doing. Get kind of a shot down the side there. That's a nice uh, exhaust animation there. I have seen some of these articulated that the drive shaft in the middle also turns. It's a nice feature on those models. Makes it look more realistic. We'll get the view of the horse cedar. See if Cowboy Andy can make this turn here. Oh yeah. Good job. He gets cookie today. Maybe see if we can do a little bit of in cab. Not the best view in cab on this model. And good speed going uphill. Definitely better than the smaller Steiger we started out with a few episodes back. 